Hey guys, just wanted to show you this uh, OXO 12 inch fry pan. This is uh, the Mira series. This is tri ply. So there's an aluminum core inside the, between the stainless and you can really hear the, the difference there. And you know, these aluminum core pans are, fan, are really fantastic for heat distribution and they prevent warping of the pan. So it's a really solid pan. This is a ceramic uh, surface. Uh, which is really nice. It's a very, uh, you know, nice, slick surface. Uh, but I want to address something in terms of the marketing uh, from OXO uh, a little bit. I think it's something we all already know, um, <laughs> but it, it's still it's still annoying to see it uh, just the same. Um, right on the top, as you as you purchase this, there is a, there is a um, packaging. And on the top of the packaging, it says metal utensil safe right and i think we all know that non-stick pans metal utensils not friends but it says metal utensil safe on the inside of the pan so when you lift this off there's a sticker right in the middle here and that sticker is this and this sticker basically says silicone utensils will help prevent scratches and extend the life of your coating okay well that makes sense too right uh it might be metal utensil safe but if you use silicone utensils it'll extend the life of your coating but then when you dig further and deeper there's this little booklet that comes with this particular pan the oxo triply stainless mirror series it was included with the pan and in here it specifically says Never use metal utensils on any ceramic nonstick surface, right? Never use metal utensils. Metal utensils safe. Never use metal utensils on any ceramic nonstick surface. So anyway, it, it seems like there was marketing people, product people, and legal people uh, all involved in the messaging around this pan. Anyway, this is honestly, I don't, I don't like the way they do that, but this is honestly the best advice for any nonstick surface. Never use metal utensils on this or any other nonstick pan, and it will last a whole lot longer for you. Uh, also, another misconception with nonstick is that uh, you don't have to use any oil at all, and it'll be a nonstick surface. If you use a little bit of oil, a little bit of butter, uh, you're going to have a much better experience with any nonstick pan, um, whether it's a more traditional Teflon nonstick or this kind of ceramic surface, which is beautifully slick. Uh, it, you're you're going to be better off. You're also you also want to heat up the pan on like a low to medium heat for just a minute or two. So you're not getting it hot where you're burning it, but you're getting it nice and warm. Then you're heating up the oil or butter that you're using, again, on low to medium heat uh, to get that uh, temperature up. And then you're going to put your food in and you're going to get the best nonstick performance, whether it's from this pan or any other pan, including just uh, stainless pans or uh, cast iron pans. If you just follow that kind of process for, with most of your pans, you're going to have a much better nonstick experience with the pan. Anyway, this pan is a very, very solid pan. I really like it. This is the 12-inch fry pan. Uh, it has a great handle, super comfortable uh, to hold this handle. Uh, the rivets are kind of uh, even, so you're not going to get as much of the, the gunk around those rivets as you uh, normally might. I also like the, the slope here. It's going to be a lot easier to uh, work with the food on this slope and then to move it around and then if you pour it out. I really just like this level of uh, radius on the slope. Uh, and I like the higher sides too. So if you're cooking something where uh, you're building it up a little bit more, instead of splaying out, these have a little bit higher sides, which is really, really nice. I mean, this is a really nice uh, pan and I'm gonna be making uh, some dishes in it tomorrow and I'll update my review if there's anything that, that comes up that is uh, uh, not not what is expected. But I expect that this pan will perform very well just based on the way it's uh, manufactured. And uh, and it's a pretty good, I mean, considering what you're getting from a, a very well-known, uh, excellent brand, OXO, um, it is a well-priced pan as well. So hope this uh, review helps you guys out.
very slick. It goes really great in this pan. No problem with the release. I just had a little dab of oil in here and this egg cooked up beautifully and we got a really nice release. 